World War II was a time of all too real horrors. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 disturbing facts about Nazi experiments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Delving deep into the atrocities committed by the Third Reich, we'll be exploring the evil lengths to which Nazi Germany went in their inhumane scientific endeavours. They were gassed, shot, hanged, and then burned. Men, women, children, babies. Number five, they used prisoners for incendiary bomb research. Everyone deserves what he gets. These words will never, ever leave my memory. The concentration camps operated by the Nazis will forever be remembered as one of the most shameful displays of human cruelty in history. Starvation, forced labor, physical abuse, and the risk of execution were all daily realities in the camps, but at Buchenwald, prisoners were also used as guinea pigs for research. Among the most notorious were the incendiary experiments carried out between 1943 and 1944. These experiments involved intentionally exposing prisoners to severe white phosphorus burns in order to better understand the nature of the wounds caused by incendiary bombs, as well as evaluate their effectiveness of various treatments. White phosphorus, if you're wondering, results in chemical burns capable of eating down to the bone. Number four, they conducted survival experiments. Uh, on the average, we would dispatch 2,000 people a day. There will always be those who seek to push the human body to its limits, like real-life Iceman Wim Hof, who trained himself to survive extreme cold. The key distinction here is that he willfully subjected his body to such trials. Testing the resilience of a human body without consent, however, is torture, and that's just what the Nazis did. In Dachau, the scientists purposefully froze Jewish and Russian prisoners to the point where they passed out or died to better educate themselves on cold weather before pushing the Eastern Front. They also studied the effects of being at high altitudes using pressure chambers, as well as trying to make seawater drinkable, both of which reportedly killed most subjects. Number three, prisoners were intentionally exposed to disease. They performed experiments, painful often, on the children. Uh, consigned to death. Why would they do such a thing? Well, scientists of the Third Reich clearly weren't exactly concerned with their morality or ethics and saw their prisoner populations as opportunities to study infectious illnesses in a controlled environment in order to develop treatments. The various experiments were carried out in both the aforementioned Dachau and Buchenwald concentration camps, as well as Sachsenhausen, Natzweiler, and Neuengamme. To be clear, they weren't interested in finding a cure for the common cold. The inoculations included such deadly diseases as epidemic jaundice or infectious hepatitis, tuberculosis, malaria, typhoid fever, yellow fever and typhus, and unsurprisingly claimed countless lives. Number 2, Dr. Mengele and the Terror of Twins If there's one evil Nazi scientist whose name has etched its way into the mainstream, it's Dr. Josef Mengele. An SS officer, Mengele was one of the leading medical minds of the Third Reich. After having requested a transfer to a concentration camp, Mengele took up his post as chief physician of Auschwitz, where he sent thousands of prisoners to their death in the gas chambers. It was here that he performed his inhumane genetic experiments, including his research on twins. Amputations, intentional introduction of disease, and unnecessary blood transfusions were all just a few of the techniques he employed, and he reportedly even sewed two twins together. He was never captured. Miriam would have been taken immediately to Mengele's lab, killed with a phenyl injection to the heart, and then Mengele would have done the comparative autopsies. Number one, they tried to prove Jewish inferiority with the Jewish skeleton collection. Though the Nazi concept of purity led them to persecute many groups, including the disabled, homosexuals, people of color, Slavics, Roma gypsies, and more, the Jews were the primary target. So strong were the anti-Semitic views that an anatomist at the Reich University of Strasbourg, August Hurt, actually developed a project known as the Jewish Skeleton Collection in order to scientifically validate the eugenic effort of the regime. The collection claimed 115 victims, most of whom were selected for their stereotypically Jewish features, of which 86 were chosen to serve as part of the finished collection. The bodies were to be dissected, studied, and ultimately preserved as skeletons, but thankfully the course of the war changed and Hurt committed suicide before he and his colleagues could complete their gruesome work. So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.